Back in October, the Seahawks lost a shootout in their first matchup against the Panthers. Can Carolina finish the sweep? The answer comes your way next on Madden Football. NBA sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. They'll come out throwing here on first down, eluding the pressure right. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Now well, a good job shifting right, finding his target. So great throw right there. And what a regular season this rookie had, piloting this offense, guiding them to a division title. And they get the home date here in round one of the playoffs. But, Charles, how do you think they're playing here? Do they run the same kind of wide-open offense they've run all season, or do you think that they'll try and take some pressure off of the young fella? I think they're going high, wide, and handsome in this one. I think it's all out, just as they've been doing all year long, because I think if you try and pull it back now a little bit, you're telling that young man you don't have quite as much confidence in him as you profess. So go ahead and continue to run your offense. Do the things that got you here. As so many defensive coaches have told you and me, all gas, no breaks. Let it rip. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Good yardage on first down. Now, can they punch it in? On and he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. He'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. Strike quickly here for six points. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Buying time to his left. Take it across for a Panthers touchdown. It's their quarterback. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Panthers continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And
Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Flushed out right. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall? And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Panthers... They'll look to throw now on first down. Steps away to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two minutes to play here in this first half for the NFL playoffs. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild. Accelerating and off he goes. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. And Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden. And they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now, as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush range. Oh, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. DJ Moore as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers would extend their lead here just before halftime. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 80 yards rushing for him now. He has been a central figure in trying to get his guys to the second round. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Going to win one flag for Robinson. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up, running the ball. That's the first. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Panthers. Demarcus Robinson, 60 yards. And the Panthers just continue to pour it on. 
We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield and... throw now on first down he's gonna look deep for more got a man it's caught inside the 10 touchdown Carolina DJ Moore his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead and that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And I'm telling you, nothing will let him. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around. And got his man complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. First down, he'll drop to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Marshall. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. It feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Chris Wormley showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Steps away. He's going to look deep for more. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. He's going to look deep for more. And he is caught at the 10-yard line. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had a fighting claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game.
Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game, a message to the top seeds. Overlook us at Jerome Perrow. We're pretty darn good. Now a play fake here on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. That's complete out right to the tight end Trimble. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Oh and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cowboys. They'll look to throw here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Carolina! Christian McCaffrey, 75 yards. And the Panthers are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. Space to run past the 20. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. These type of plays are backbreakers for our defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. Now back to throw. Escapes the sack. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Randy Gregory. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Tommy Trimble there to make the grab. Back 
back to throw here. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. Robbie Anderson. 75 yards. And the Panthers continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one down. He'll look to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack at second and 20. He's going to air one out for Anderson. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Carolina. Robbie Anderson, 85 yards. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And from where we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute cannon shot, and it still dropped it right up. They'll set up to throw. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Robbie Anderson. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Panthers add on to their lead. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. He's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from rookie tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And I'll tell you from our broadcast booth, because we're pretty close to the 50, we had the best view, a bird's eye view of that throw. That was an absolute thing of beauty to watch. Never ceases to amaze me, the arm strength of these guys. And the final readout... They're going to look to throw. He's going to air one out for Anderson. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. Robbie Anderson. 77 yards. And the Panthers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They'll look to throw. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Carolina. Robbie Anderson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers would extend their lead here just before halftime. They'll look to throw here. 
He's going to look deep for more. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Moore. Throwing here on first down. Being chased out left. He'll have a first down past the 40. And all the way up to the 46. They're starting to fall into the category of not fair. Because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> Almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run, too. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escaping. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Taking it in for... They'll set up a throw. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Rolling to his left. Finding some room at midfield. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Their mobile quarterback. His second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers are moving closer to... Throwing here to start the drive. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. His second catch. This one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. He'll drop to throw. In trouble. And the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safe. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. Ooh, with a juke. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leads towards admiration. Often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And right now, Charles, I think you'd have to say their class starting to show through. Now on 
have first down. He'll drop to throw it. He's going to air one out for Anderson. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 20. And they are going to score again. And yet another touchdown as they just added. Big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.